right my people a lot of things have been happening in the country well our prayer is being that the good lord will continue to protect us all all right welcome back emo jailbreak nigerian correctional service releases names pictures of inmates who escaped from prison the names and pictures of the inmates are being released in batches by the Nigerian Correctional Service. All right, the news in details. The Nigerian Correctional Service on Friday has unveiled some of the inmates who escaped from the Oweri Custodial Center, Imo State, during Monday's jailbreak. The names and pictures of the inmates are being released in batches by the NCS on its Twitter handle. All right, and then as it is, so far, 36 of the escaped inmates have been unveiled. The tweet read, faces of persons who escaped from Uweri Custodial Center, Imo State. Please note that more photographs of the escapes are on the way and efforts are on to get clear pictures for the blank spaces. Sarah reporters had reported how over 1,800 inmates escaped from custody on Monday after gunmen attacked the Imo Correctional Center in Oweri. All right, during the attack, vehicles and part of some buildings within the premises were raised. All right, and then as it is, the gunmen also attacked the Emo Police Command Headquarters. While no life was lost during the attack, the NCS had said a total of 1,884 persons escaped from custody. However, as of Thursday, 78 escapes were said to have been found. During a visit to the facility in Oweri, the Minister of Interior, Rahuf Aregbeshola, had said inmates who returned voluntarily will not face sanctions for escaping from custody but added that those who decided otherwise will be prosecuted meanwhile a report by vanguard stated that some of the 1800 inmates who escaped during the Oweri jailbreak have taken up cleaning and main many are jobs for survival According to the report, the escapes took up majority hawking and cleaning jobs in Brodels, Moto Parks, and in Market Squares to raise money for their feeding and survival. Areas affected, as stated in the report, include the control post along on a road, withdraw roundabout. Withdraw roundabout up to Poly Junction, Imsu Junction, as well as Irate Azix on Oweri Onicha Road. All right, and then that has been it on this one. All right, and then onto this one, a lot of there's been a lot of reactions according to the title sub edit, which says Emo J Break Nigerian Correctional Service releases names pictures of inmates who escaped from prison all right and then a lot of people have been of the opinion that okay now that you have released them so hope you are going to tell us the offenses this set of people committed uh -huh, we need to know the offenses they committed and then in fact everyone needs to tell us so that we'll know where we are all right and then meanwhile there's been a lot of reactions onto this according to joseph one quote he says okay now we've seen their names please my question is what their offenses the evil government should tell us their offenses too okay their families should petition government to provide their loved ones which is in their custody eagles are still waiting for you to arrest those fulanis that killed a boy people until now all right, and then Matthew Smith Asogwa said that Hope Uzodimba will answer question on where on whereabouts these people. 
okay on the people's whereabouts so to say let the family of these people and the behavra ask for their children because they might have killed them and trying to fool everyone all right and then meanwhile according to sihara edoze he has said that well the police never learned their lesson the worst is coming declaring them wanted will bring more problems but this good for nothing government will never do anything all right and then as it is it is also said that according to chica kelvin he has said that prison guards police run it is not it is not their fault everybody running for safety if they can repent then forgive them all right and then as it is he has said uh Ozioma chuku has said that the question here is what offense did they commit all right what offense did they commit or where or were they jailed because they don't have long legs like those looters and their families all right and then that's another one all right a lot of people are trying to know in fact they are interested in knowing the offenses that these people committed all right and then that has been hit and then meanwhile according to Lon london ify he has said that the big question is how many bandits or killers as men are in prison i'm not in support for any i'm not in support of any kind of crime though but what is good for evans is equally good for musa all right and then abu Bakr dairu has said as well from their faces you will know that these are first class criminals and letting them into the society will amount to various crimes at the detriment to the affected society all right a lot of comment keep coming in onto this one but the truth of the matter is a lot of people have made up their minds that as far as this country is concerned we are not going back on our agitation of separation all right that's what we have been you know, hearing and that's what has been the agitation from the from both the Odudua, the uh behafra and uh, every other region that you know believe that this country is not good for them if a lot of them have been agitating well and then that has been hit on this one our prayer that the good lord will make this you no know, this agitation work for better it should be a peaceful one that has been the prayer all right and then that has been hit on this one my people meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless